Ice, back to you. All right, David, an accused killer's run from the law. Police say he went to the victim's apartment and shot him in the head. Our Sylvia Corkill is tracking crime for us tonight. Sylvia? That's right, Kelly. This was a particularly disturbing homicide. According to police, the victim was simply answering his door when he was shot dead. A knock at the door and then gunfire. He was in his apartment at one point with a female. Female indicated that there was a knock at the door. He stepped outside, went downstairs for a few minutes. She heard shots ring out. Following the chaos. I heard uh, one gunshot. And then about five, seven minutes later, I had I heard five more. Neighbors learned Curtis Snyder's girlfriend found him. He was dead on Sunday. We walked to the store and we're always hi and how are you? And he was a nice guy. I didn't have never have no problem out of it. According to reports, Kendall Edwards Jr. admitted to killing the victim after he alleges he entered the wrong apartment and someone charged him. However, video surveillance shows Edwards speaking with the victim moments before he pulled out a gun and shot him multiple times. Edwards fled the scene in a friend's vehicle. This picture was taken of him following his arrest. Now, U.S. Marshals tracked Edwards to Edmond this afternoon. Tonight, he's in the Oklahoma County Detention Center. Live in Oklahoma City, Sylvia Corkill, Oklahoma Zone, News 9.